Hey, happy Thanksgiving to y'all from us here at uh, Tack Room Devotional. Um, man, enjoy the day. Enjoy the presence of God. Remember, he inhabits the praises of his saints. Let's just praise him all day long with thanksgiving. Let those around you experience the presence of God because you're praising him. Let them see the presence of God all over you. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. And today, I, can, can we just... Read scripture and enjoy his presence. Please read with me. We're going to go to 2 Chronicles chapter 5. And we're going to start with verse uh, 12, uh, no, 10, 11. And it came to pass when the priests came out of the ho most holy place. For all, all the priests who were present had sanctified themselves without keeping to their divisions. And the Levites who were the singers, all those of Asaph and Hermon and uh, Jedjatha, with their sons and with their brethren, stood at the east end of the altar, clothed in white linens, having cymbals, stringed instruments, and harps, and with them 120 priests sounding with trumpets. Can you imagine? Indeed it came to pass when the trumpeters and the singers were as one, to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and the cymbals and the instruments of music and praised the Lord saying, For he is good, for his mercy endures forever, that the house... The house of the Lord was filled with the cloud so that the priest could not continue ministering because of the cloud for the glory of the Lord filled the house of God. That's called the Shekinah glory. When we begin to learn to praise him with high praise, the presence of God shows up in, in such magnitude that we can't even continue ministering to him through praise and thanksgiving. I hope that happens in your house today. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you because your mercies endure forever. Look with me at Psalm chapter 95, the 95th uh, Psalm, starting with verse one. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. For the Lord is the great God and the great king above all gods. In his hands are deep places on the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand Form the dry uh, land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, we give praise and thanks to you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Look with me at Psalm 100. Psalm 100. Oh, glory be to God. I'm having a ball. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. All right. Psalm chapter 100, and it says, make a joyful sound. Notice it doesn't say sing really great songs. It says, make a joyful noise, a joyful sound unto the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. And here's what you need to do. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Praise be to God. Psalm 107, this would be the last one. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God, you are wonderful. You are great. We exalt and lift your name. Amen. Psalm 107. Look with me. Oh, we'll just start with the first one. Oh, give thanks. 107 verse 1. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord, that's you and me, say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. You see the power of praise and thanksgiving? He's redeemed us from the hand of the enemy. And gathered uh, out of the lands from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a desolate way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their souls fainted in them. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them out of their distresses and he led them forth by the right way that they may go to a city for a dwelling place. Oh, that men would give 
thanks to the Lord for his goodness. Oh, that men do this today. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness. Who glory to God. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Keith Brown. Darla's there with her hands lifted up, praising God. And she says happy Thanksgiving also. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your families. And most of all, invite the presence of God through praise and thanksgiving into that place where you are today. We love you. Jesus loves you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.